But I tell you what, he's having a good time and rightly so because it's a big race day and uh, you can be really rest assured that there are going to be lots of exciting horses out there. And uh, you know, when uh, talking about the fashion now, we're out here running a fantastic competition also called The Bold and the Beautiful. We're going to go out there into the stands, choose some finely dressed men and women and well at the end of the day, there's going to be two of those who win a fantastic prize and doing that is our very own Bold and Beautiful, a new member of the bandwagon, uh, Perizad Kola. Perizad, how are you doing? Hi, Samir. It's a lovely afternoon out here at the Mahalakshmi race course. As you can see, everybody out here is dressed from head to toe, all geared up for the races. Samir, as you know, we're going to have a bold and beautiful competition where we're going to have 12 men and 12 women very nicely dressed up and one from each cat actually going to win an outfit from Rohit Bal. And talking about the designer, guess who we have with us here? Rohit Bal himself. Hi Rohit, welcome to the McDowell Signature Derby. It's a lovely, beautiful Sunday afternoon here at the Mahalakshmi race course. So tell us, what do you think about fashion at the races? Um, to be really honest, I think that uh, uh, out of all that I've seen as yet, I've not really seen that much fashion. Uh, I've just seen people uh, dressed up uh, very sort of uh, in a very laid back, <coughs> very casual way, and it's not that they've come dressed for the races, and it's obviously uh, <coughs> something that doesn't happen anymore. And I'm not comparing it to the uh, 1920s, 30s, or 40s in Ascot or you know the various other uh, famous horse races. I just feel that um, that the weather here doesn't permit you to really dress up. It's a bit warm. But uh, I do see some women definitely make, making an effort like yourself. Thank you very much. What do you think about these hats? I, I see a lot of women. It becomes, uh, I think, uh, the concept of uh, horse racing in the derby has always been associated with hats. And uh, like I said, in uh, European uh, uh, climate, European American climate, all, all over the world, the weather actually allows and permits you to wear these big ex extravagant hats. And, it's, it becomes a part of the social event, so to speak. Uh, but in India, again, it's not the easiest, things to, the easiest thing to wear. A hat is not the easiest thing to wear. Something like what? Yeah, you can get away with a headgear like this. Yeah, but what I feel is that I think the Indian uh, Derby Association or the Indian Horse Racing Association, we need to uh, develop our own style, our own Indian style, which does not have to conform to what's happening elsewhere in the world. Okay. Everything here changes. And likewise, I think the way people dress up at a derby should change as well. Thank you so much. That was Rohit Bal with us. And he is going to be giving a prize to the best dressed female and male. Thank you so much, Rohit. And now a while back, we went inside the UB tent and we found some pretty looking faces. And this is what we found for you. So here we have Rose Schilling from Holland, looking beautiful, very elegant. She loves Kanika Mehra as one of her designers, but today she's put things together from her wardrobe. Her scarf is from India. The rest of her stuff is from Holland. Those lovely wedge heels, frills and company handbag. Rose, can you turn around for us? Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Rose. And here we have Apurva Mehra at the McDowell Signature Derby, looking lovely. He's wearing a Ralph Lauren blue label shirt and a G-Star jacket, looking lovely. And who do we have here? Beautiful Elaine Carey from Ireland. She's wearing a lovely outfit by Dolce & Gabbana. Accessories from Argentina. Interesting hat, that's from Mad Hatter, a designer in Ireland. Well, what do we have here? A TV star from the UK, Ross Kane, is wearing a lovely printed shirt from Thailand. His jeans are from Zara, and as you can see, he actually models pretty well. And we have the very pretty Nikita Mehta from Bombay. She's wearing a lovely dress, which is actually designed by her. That's a beautiful Gucci bag she's carrying in her hand. And those sunglasses, Versace. So it's Ramesh Mehta from Pune. He's wearing a jacket by More Mischief from Pune. And those lovely designer shoes, well, they have been designed by Rohit Bal. Okay, Samir, as you can see, you've got competition out here. We have a visual treat with lovely dressed men and women. Well, we're going to start on with the races, but before that, I'm going to go to the front lawn area and find out who is looking gorgeous here today.